What's up guys, Alec Mac 111 as you can tell by this incredibly large, incredibly kind of messed up package in front of me, I have some super rare, super old airsoft pistols that I got, but before we get into the video, I dropped the hoodie video last week, I'm trying to upload consistently every week on Friday at 6pm because of Corona season, so this is Corona season episode 2 baby, um, hoodies dropped, a bunch of you messaged me and were like, yo Alec, we didn't get these in our sub boxes, so I will put that in the card if you want to watch the video um, and just see the hoodies, I have hoodies and then I actually just ordered some t-shirts as well so the hoodies and everything they'll actually be in the merch shelf below my teespring page um but let's get into the video so i have here an inokatsu which probably most of you honestly have never even heard the brand of and you guys kind of have to look so i'm gonna make you guys kind of guess in a sense how old this gun is and how old this gun is i have this high cappy here for the end just because i think it's pretty this is obviously a new one um but this gun may be older than some of you guys, and this gun also may be older than some of you guys airsoft. I remember when both of these came out, I was a very young airsoft player. These were way too expensive for me to ever dream of getting, but I found this on eBay. I actually bought this from a guy on eBay that was from Texas, and then this one I found from Japan. This was shipped from Japan. I'll show you some close-up on the box when we get to that, but it is super old. The box was literally almost destroyed, um, but first pistol is an Inokatsu, and this one should be easy to guess the age on. Inokatsu 100th anniversary Colt 1911. And so I actually, I've opened this one already. I have not opened the other one. I got this one like two weeks ago, but I figured it'd be cool to kind of do a double video on them. And this gun, I first time I took it over, I was like, this is literally the craziest, coolest gun I've ever seen in my life. And so I'm showing some close ups here, but this thing, when I picked it up for the first time, I was like, bro, that feels like like an actual 1911 like that feels literally full steel everything when these retailed i remember they came out on red wolf back when red wolf i think they're still red wolf still one of the biggest like sites but i remember when they came out on red wolf i was like little 13 year old alec mack was like oh my gosh if i can ever own one of those like it was just so it was so cool i don't know i don't remember exactly how i felt as a kid but i was like man eventually if i were able to own one of those and now that i'm 24 i have the ability to obviously buy more expensive guns and you guys eventually in the future will hopefully be able to buy some more expensive guns as well so it came like this this is the original mag it uses a co2 magazine and then it was also the guy included a green gas magazine or uh, like propane magazine but he said it does not work with propane magazines or green gas you literally have to use co2 because the slide does not like blow back because this thing is so heavy and this is like a normal recoil spring but because this entire body is stamped steel it is basically almost impossible to have it recoil with even propane which is crazy because i have lots of high cappers like this that have nicer aluminum like frames and stuff and they're really high quality and some steel ones but like this thing is so old and so rare that it like that you have to have uh, CO2 to blow it back, which is, I think is just really, really cool. So this is the M1911. Some of the trades on this are honestly like the coolest I think I've ever seen in my life. You can just see all the detail that went into it from the real 1911, the real Colt 1911. Um, and this is the 100th anniversary, obviously. It says M1911A1 US Army on the bottom of it. It's got the cool older brown. I don't like these dark brown grips as well, but I believe this is what came on like the original model, the original coloring for it. And it's just even got the simple like iron sights. But even you, like you hear that, just how loud that kind of is for the thing you like it's it's kind of slow when you shoot the slide forward but you can just kind of see even my hand like watch kind of that like push forward and stuff and so i've shot it with co2 once and it did really well like it honestly feels like you're shooting a 22 pistol about the same recoil um sometimes kind of feels like the same noise honestly but that is pistol number one and this one is super super rare however the next pistol is the rarest pistol i have ever ever owned but even like look at this packaging man see that like the quality that goes into some of this packaging and Inokatsu specifically like a brand, they literally have multiple layers for that. I think that's dope. Alrighty, here we are. So I did open the side of this just because I made it a little bit easier and then I have the box in here, but I have not yet seen this, so I'm super excited. Um, I should just show you some of the stuff all in the front. You can see they literally just threw like a bunch of stamps on the top, but like for how much the postage was, I'm not exactly sure how much it came from Japan Post. You can see that this is super authentic. I found this from like a really old retailer because these are so 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 old and so rare i had never i've never ever seen one of these in person i've literally look at the carrying case on these things like you know a pistol's really high quality there's some tape on the back looks like it <laughs> looks like part of the wood cracked a little bit but this i mean this thing is crazy crazy old um, if you guys have ever heard of Resident Evil, I've not watched a ton of the movies. I've watched some here or there, but Tokyo Marie did a combo with Resident Evil way back in the day. And so this is the Biohazard Limited Edition Desert Eagle 50 caliber. <laughs> 
bro, look at this gun. Isn't that the wildest thing you've ever seen in your life? I have had two Tokyo Marine Desert Eagles before, way back in the day. I actually did a video on those. Yo, know, maybe I'll link that in a card. Okay, bam, there. I was like six years ago, I did like dual shooting tests of a Tokyo Marine Desert Eagle, because they have, in these guns, I don't know if you know anything about them. I think this is like standard from the other one. They have two recoil springs. So it's not only one, but it's two. And it's like two nozzle return springs, I think as well, because this thing is so wide and so heavy. But is that not the coolest? Is that literally not the coolest pistol you've ever seen in your life? Bro, look at how big that is. I don't know if this is ever realistic to use in a game. I don't know if I will ever realistically use it in a game, but. <laughs> Just to have is like a cool collector piece and so it also has like the raccoon city grips here um, The grips are really wide which I like because it gives you kind of like that big feel um, Kind of feels like I'm about to shoot a modern warfare desert eagle and gulag or something depending on if I get knocked and destroyed by the boys um, Or resed or not, but this thing dude this I can't literally this thing is the biggest Airsoft pistol I think I've ever seen in my life. You can even see with the barrel with like the chrome This is like the stainless steel chrome version or whatever the iron sights are so far away It's just it's wild. So that's normal safety like everything else. Um, I'll get some close-ups I probably already have shown you guys quite a few close-ups, but the barrel I think the barrel I, I think so what it is is it's like the lower is all the same as the Tokyo Murray before Nah, this frame even looks a little bit longer though too and then it has like some sort of front end kit that Tokyo Marie has put on it because the hop ups the same as my old desert eagles were um, the iron sights on the back are a little bit different which is cool I kind of they kind of like a little bit longer so that it works um, it just kind of like makes it a little bit easier if that makes sense and so it kind of like dude even the line of those sights is absurd obviously in airsoft you don't need sights that much but man this thing is so cool Magnum Research Minneapolis Minnesota made in Japan um, Tokyo Marie uh, trigger I think I think everything else is pretty much stock except for like the grip and then the the barrel at length I had a silver chrome one and then I think I had a black I'm mean, actually had two black desert eagles back in the day But I have not had a Tokyo Marie desert eagle in forever. I always wanted to field them They actually shot really really well, so I would assume this one's kind of the same I think the inner barrel only goes out until about that same distance right there So I don't think that it's a longer inner barrel or anything. It'd be really cool if it went through but for what I can tell, this is all hollow right here. But the lines, honestly, the lines on this are, like, so, so good. I Dude, I don't even know. Like, how would you use this in a holster or, like, anything? And so I've seen I've seen parts of the movie, like, where these are used. And so, I, I don't know. I just think this is so cool. And I thought it was a really cool collector's piece. And it even comes with, like, BBs. The BBs are still intact here. And then I have no idea what this little metal piece is, but it's there. It's in, like... It even shows you like the pistol ball ammo, which I think is really cool. And then it actually comes with a, a jamming rod too. Obviously you're gonna need a little bit longer one than the normal one with this pistol. But I, dude, I've, I thought these things are so cool forever. Also, I do wanna ask you guys, if you guys wanna see a Tokyo Murray high cap a build video, I've been building them for a little while now and this is the most recent one that I'm kind of working on. And so I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. I watched some stuff by like Demo and some other dudes that do really cool high cap of videos. And so I've gotten pretty decent at learning how to build them and do all the maintenance and stuff. Um, I don't know AEGs, I don't know Polar Stars that well, but high cap is I'm pretty good with, I think. And so if you guys want to kind of see something maybe from the ground up, I just bought from Evike a Tokyo Murray 5.1, which is actually will be part of kind of next week's video. I bought a mystery box and so I'm kind of getting back to the roots. I think you guys have kind of missed that and so I know we can't play right now with Corona season because it sucks but I do think that a mystery box will be sweet so next week's video will be a mystery box video but this has been Alec Mag 101 literally the rarest pistols I think I've ever seen or gotten let me know if you think there's a pistol that's rarer out there and maybe I'll be able to get my hands on it eventually but this has been Alec Mag 101 and I'll see you guys later